Okay, welcome to Ticker Feed Channel, guys. Welcome, appreciate it. Thank you so much for just tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it. And so, what we're going to be talking about is plug, okay? Ticker symbol P L U G, and we're going to be talking about two hundred ninety million dollars and the the biggest, largest hydrogen fuel cell company in America. So, welcome to the family. If you're new here, please join our family and subscribe, and hit that button that famous thumbs up button that way we can just continue to share this video to as many people as possible and guys I really do again appreciate taking the time to just look and listen to this video and as always I like to talk about a meme and so what I like to do is just show one and then we'll start right on plug and as you can see it says I was losing money before the stock market crashed and that is what my face looks like no joke First of all, if you've never seen The Office, you gotta tune in, you gotta watch it, but that's what my face looks like. I completely can agree. Guys, leave a comment. Let me know if you own this share or own this company. How many shares you have, sorry. And just let me know what you think about this company. Guys, I really do appreciate it, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so with Plug, like I said earlier, Plug Power wants to invest $290 million to set up the largest green hydrogen plant in North America. So I found this little segment, and so I wanted to kind of talk about it. We'll, we'll dive a little deep into it, and then hopefully you'll be able to take some information away from this video. So, like I said, $290 million, which, which is a lot. And so they're going to build this facility in New York at the New York Science Technology and Advanced Manufacturing Park. Okay, now shares of Plug Power dipped at 0.4% in the pre-market of today, right? Now, Plug's Power CEO Andy Marsh says that Plug Power's future rightfully revolves around building the green hydrogen economy. Now you're gonna hear that word green a few times in this little segment especially since that is kind of the trend of what's going on in the market and so just be a little aware of that but not a big deal we are grateful that our home state of new york is helping lead the way on climate and clean energy initiatives and that plug powers green hydrogen solutions can make such a positive impact on the environment and economic climate in the state which obviously no one has a problem with and we completely agree so that's great we thank our elected officials and partnerships for the leadership. So the plant is expected to produce 45 metric tons of green liquid hydrogen daily and will service the Northeast region. Okay, so now they have a plant in Tennessee and it's expected to supply 500 tons of green hydrogen each day by 2025. Okay, so that's good future growth. That's something that you wanna think about in the long term and a thousand tons per day by 2028 on a global basis the project also includes five 450 mw electrical substations that will serve the stamp site okay so that's obviously really good news that's information that you want to hear so that's why i'm bringing this up now separately and this is the other thing that i wanted to bring up is that separately the company also announced a partnership with South Korean business group SK Group to invest 100 or 1.6 billion, sorry, to accelerate the use of hydrogen as an alternative source of energy in the Asian market. Now, as we all know, in the market, they're in the Asian market, they're all about electrical vehicles. So clearly, that's going to be something that's really good that I'm happy about. Now, also, plug when it closed today. It was up 11.63%, which is phenomenal. And I mean, that's what you want to know. And so it's bullish right now, which is great for the buyers. Okay. And so that's what you want to think about. But again, what I'm trying to stress is the long term, right? So holding on to plug, I mean, as you can see, 
as you can see, $48.38. That's great. Okay. I mean, it opened at $44.68. So we're going to look at the chart here at the end of the video. But when you're looking at the wick and you're trying to decide, okay, is it bullish? Is it bearish? What is the volume, right? What is that volume rate? Clearly, it opened up at 44 and it's closed at 48. So that's great news. And so let's go ahead and look at the chart and then we'll wrap this up and I'll continue to bring out videos on the latest updates. Okay, so if you missed it and that's probably why you're tuning in or possibly you just want to hear some more extra information, here's another article that's got some information that I want to kind of talk about. So I'm going to read some of it and then we'll just finish this video off. OK, so plug power reports steep negative re revenues. And here's why. OK, so per share, the losses were wide to one point one two from seven cents in the year ago quarter, badly missing forecast for a loss of eight cents a share. Negative revenue of three hundred sixteen point three million was down from a gain of ninety one point seven million in the year ago, a quarter and worse than views of eighty four point nine million. Now, the company has offered warrants of plug stocks to big customers such as Amazon and Walmart in exchange for fuel cells they have bought. OK, so that's kind of inf good information to know. The other thing is Plug Power reported record gross billings last year with ninety six point three million in Q4 and a total of three hundred thirty seven point four million for the full year. Now, plug stock fell 14% to 45.56 on the stock market today and has been hitting resistance at its 50 day line, according to Market Smith chart analysis. So, you got a lot going on according to the actual quarters of the revenue on what they bring in. And so, I just want to disclose that information to you. That way, again, you know what the latest update is if you just missed out or if you didn't have an opportunity to tune in. So if you're tuning in and you're trying to figure out or if you haven't bought, I'm just going to talk about plug power real quick. So they build clean hydrogen. OK, uh, fuel cells. OK, and they're huge on zero emissions. OK, this is what their product looks like now. Like I said, huge on zero emissions. That's something I want you to think about. And here's the other thing. 38,000 fuel cells units deployed and more than 20 years of innovation. Basically, Plug Power is the largest buyer of liquid hydrogen and has built more hydrogen refueling stations than anyone else in the world. OK, so that's a quick little backstory of Plug themselves if you haven't bought it. So now we're going to continue to talk about Plug and everything that you need to know today. So again, with Plug Power, just giving a quick little background, hydrogen fuel to replace conventional batteries and equipment and vehicles powered by electricity, right? You can see that clearly on Wikipedia. So I like that angle. It's kind of interesting because you've got electrical vehicles. Obviously, they're based on lithium batteries. So now you've got this hydrogen fuel cell as a battery. So it's going to be interesting to see in the next coming years which side we fall on or if we're able to use both or if you can do a hybrid. So I think that's pretty interesting. Now, with plug itself, 52 week high, $75.49. Okay. 52 week low, $2.53. Now, looking at a month ago when it was ranging around the low 60s, okay, that was towards the end of January. Now, with the dip, you know, a lot of people are thinking about it in the short term. And, but what I want to kind of stress to you and, and, and push is this is short term. Yes, it's making a correction right now, but five days ago, it's slowly, slowly dropping, right? So you have a huge group, probably specifically hedge funds, who's trying to cash in. But they know in the long term, there's a reason why this company is going to make some waves in the future and so they're either going to buy back into it or they only sold x amount okay so that's what i want you to think about i mean it shot up again 11.63 percent that is huge so if you calculate that out depending on how many shares you have i mean personally i was pretty happy with today and again this gives people an opportunity if you bought high when it was in the 60s or even in the mid 50s, 
this gives you to cost average right so you're able to drop down that stock and so you can get more shares even that out so you're kind of looking a little bit better but let's look in long term future let's look a couple years in advance now again I'm not a financial advisor but I am obsessed with the stock market it's challenging it's fun it's exciting and looking at these charts when you look at the wick right when you look at that candlestick charting it's, for me personally it's exciting I enjoy it so with plug power I really like again the type of angle that they have it's gonna be interesting again to see what you think but that's the information that I have so far again I'll keep pumping out these videos on the latest update comment down below if you own this share if you thought about owning it how are you feeling right now and what you're trying what you're going through you know we're in this all together again welcome to the family I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video it's super exciting I've got tons of energy because I'm super excited about it and I'm really passionate about it so again tune in and hit that subscribe button and again welcome to the family 